Keith, lay out your perspective here. What is going on with these macro trends that you think will be beneficial for, for tech? Sure, and first, uh, great to be with you, even though it's a challenging day, of course, technology today. You know, at this point of the cycle, um, we've been underweight tech, and we asked ourselves, do we want to be underweight now? And our answer is no. So we moved it up to a neutral. There's still challenges. There's still a lot of divergences as we're seeing today. But what we're seeing now is we're seeing the global growth um, you know, outlook change, and it's changing for the worse. You know, what the challenge for tech was earlier this year is that you had global growth uh, trends slowing down. At the same time, inflation and interest rates were moving up. But now we actually have slowing growth and interest rates easing. Look at the 10-year today. We're around 2.79, way off the highs, and inflation expectations coming in. So what we think now is going to happen is we're going to see investors now start to look for growth opportunities. Growth will become more scarce, and that environment, uh, technology, especially more of the higher quality, big balance sheets, big cash holdings, should do somewhat better. And actually, you know, and today, if you look at the tech sector specifically, and you know, after the run that we've had, it's actually holding up relatively well. So Keith, it's interesting because we spent the first part of this show talking about pullback in advertising and how that's impacting Snap, which has obviously fallen off a cliff. But I'm wondering how you see enterprise spending holding up, considering all the macroeconomic pressures, inflationary pressures, et cetera. Are you concerned that that could end up weighing on the sector? Yeah, I think in general, we're going to see a slowdown in spending. And the question becomes, where is it going to be more acute? We are still underweight the communication sector. So some people think about that as tech, but that's been an area we've been underweight all year. And what we're seeing with Snap and some other names reinforces that underweight. But we do think um, as far as enterprise spending will pull back, but will probably be somewhat less so than, say, advertising, which is more cyclical. And then also think about some of the, uh, the software sides. It's more likely that th those things are going Going to stay because it's going to help with productivity and uh, you know labor trends are still pretty tight as a whole. So it's going to slow down across the board. We just think there's going to be areas where it slows down less. And relative to other sectors, we think uh, you know tech will hold up somewhat better. Again, it's a neutral. There's still some concerns out there, but we do not want to be underweight, especially after what John mentioned was that uh, sharp move down. We've already seen uh, maybe a last point: the valuation reset we've seen of more than 25% over the last year is the most significant since late 2018, another time of concern about the Fed and monetary policy. Mm -hmm. Well, Keith, uh, what I'm concerned about here, and I wonder if you can shed light on whether I should be concerned about it, maybe I'm inventing a term here, revenue volatility, right? Because in part of the subscription models that we've seen in the past and uh, or that we're seeing now, and because of the consumption models that we're seeing in tech now, do you end up with a case where certain types of things that people used to be able to say, oh, well, I'll delay the purchase of that switch, I'll delay the purchase of that server, extend the life of my existing hardware a bit more than I otherwise would, now they're locked into paying for that over time, and so they've got to more quickly react and pull back spending where they can. Are you going to see more volatility in revenue in the things, even in technology, that uh, companies can control the spend of because there's a bigger block of things where they're paying consistently over time? Yeah, John, I think that's a great term, spot on. Hopefully that will be used in the future and we can coin it um, under your name. But yeah, I think there's going to be more volatility because, like I said, some of these contracts, especially on the business side, are, are longer term. And you know, even though the labor force will likely start to soften somewhat, we're seeing signs of that. Um, you need some of these tools to enable productivity to move forward. So I think you're right. I think, uh, like we're seeing today in advertising, where, where, may be, uh, where will we cut back instead? So I think that will create more divergences. And even with our call to upgrade technology to more neutral, it's going to be um, you know, more di uh, divergences within the sector. And again, that's why we're leaning towards some of these you know, bigger cap companies have more diverse um, you know, uh, business models, have stronger balance sheets. Because I think the one thing that we feel confident about is things we're gonna, are going to continue to slow as we have all this tightening still you know, working its way through the system. So the global economy is going to slow. And that's, I think, where you want to be, especially in tech.